bananas popping out from, if you're sitting here, what you'll see is, and that's not really going to be high, it's going to be about like that, but we'll have, you know, this will be, this will be red tea, doom, 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 if you can see what I'm planting, mm -hmm. big tower of red teas there. <coughs> then you'll see the banana foliage. If you're sitting here, so start visualising, close your eyes if you like. You'll be sitting outside the juice bar, there'll be the earth burn with a head on top. On top of the head is this huge tower of red tea. Oh, Behind that you'll see the banana foliage. And you'll see the edge of the coconut pit. The edge to that will be a round circle. So you come out of that straight building, the concrete, it's green pinto peanut and it's a round circle. Make sense? Yeah. In this corner edge, here where the two buildings are concrete finishes in there, there's going to be a round, elevated rock fountain. So there's water moving, the sound of water. Hmm. And you know that back end is going to be a hot tub. This is going to be a hot tub. Here. There's plans for this here. This, this is going to have a huge deck coming still off it. Right? It's going to be amazing. But this bit here, there's going to be running water. Just a small thing. If you notice that little concrete thing, you just go, what, what, why did they do that? I don't know why they did it, but let's soften it up and bring a bit of water element back in there and have it circulating the energy because it's very stagnant. If you want to circulate stagnating energy, bring the water element back in really quickly. Yeah? It doesn't have to be big. Just a nice big tub like that. I've got old wine barrel ones at home with a lotus in it and I didn't even put um, the salt. I've had the solar pump there for ages, but I still haven't done it because it's so pretty without it. <laughs> so you can, but I definitely have water running there because of the whole atmosphere of what's happening down there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that cleans out the air too. Mm -hmm. So we're rounding that off, we're providing running water here. So we've sort of, you know, approached this area a bit. Um, normally, there's a few avocados planted in here, but they were done, they're not, they weren't, um, they're not grafted varieties and they were just thrown in there. So I just cleared them last year when I was here. Um, this would be an amazing place to put some beautiful, just a couple of clumps of beautiful softening bamboo. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I saw a eucalyptus tree that grows really fast and is beautiful. Rainbow and they're, you? The rainbow. The rainbow. Yeah. And, and they're they planting them for future, to use them to build future buildings. Yeah. So I'd grab a bamboo anytime. Mm -hmm. Anytime. Mm. All eucalyptus is um, aliopathic which means it exudes um, chemicals or substances which retard the growth of other plants around them. Mm -hmm. I come from eucalyptus yeah. heaven. And, <laughs> and I, you know, I'm not planting eucalypts. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was really beautiful. They are beautiful they are trees beautiful. in appropriate places, but it's not the sort of tree I'd plant in this sort of a rainforest situation. <laughs> and if we're talking about building, like, you know, bamboo, six years you've got some decent stuff to build with. Six years. That's all. <coughs> Very quick. Since that is going to be a healing center with the juice bar focused on cleansing and stuff, it makes sense that we would plant things that support what's going to be happening in the building. Things like, like lemon, and ginger, and greens for Herbs? juicing. Aloe vera. Aloe vera. Yeah. Where would you plant in them? The gravel. Um, not know. in the gravel area that you're talking about, but down more in the ditch, maybe. I don't know. Um, on the front. Down this side? No, no. <laughs> no to the east. Yeah. West. To the west. Would they want that? Down here? Yeah, be yeah. On the firm? Down here? I don't know if that's possible, but yeah. yeah. Some structure material <coughs> right now? Or oh, right, yeah. Right. <coughs> Okay, so when, when, when you're looking at things like, what, what's the story with ginger? Do you, know, do you know how it works or how to harvest it? Okay, so it's a rhizome. Anything that's a rhizome needs digging out. Okay, so it's really good to put it in areas where you can dig it out and not affect other things around it. So this is a bank. All banks I would lock up. You lock up banks. You lock them up, otherwise the soil keeps moving down and, and you're, you're, what happens to your you edge? It moves down slope. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we want to put plants in there that lock up the edge. Mm -hmm. It's the same as when I did this um, spiral here. You know, it was just like, oh my God, what am I going to plant on? And I already saw it with the traffic we've had now with people. Like, if you don't plant something to hold those slopes up, like, you know, I'm glad I went for total bit of a grass and a lot of it didn't survive yeah. because people run down the sides. They don't always, you know, that's what they do. Yeah. Um, and as soon as an, as an edge, you know, whether it's a dog or a pig or a whatever, kids, yeah. everything moves down slope. So what you want to do is lock it up. Lemongrass, vetiver grass. I had that actually, that side there, and I was really... It wasn't, it was 
we don't get upset anymore. It's just like, okay, that's how it goes. <laughs> but I, I had 15 varieties of rare sugarcane sent to me here last year, and that's where I planted them. Yeah, sugarcane. But they're all gone. They're being mowed to death. Oh. So, um, sugarcane's fantastic. You can put them through juices too. But we'll lock that up. We're going to lock that edge up. Um, that is a gully. Don't forget a, that's a gully drain. Where's the grey water from? The, just when you're thinking about planting, I understand where you're coming from because you do put the things near the, that are required by the juice bar as close as possible to it. But what's happening in that water course, in that gully? What's happening there? We talked about it quickly yesterday. Energy's moving. Down. Energy's moving down slope because it's water, but what else? The shower runoff. Grey water runoff. All the grey water. Uh, yeah, All the grey water from the kitchen is going down that way. All the, you know, everything is flowing down that way that's being used. So we want to actually, we don't want to take it up in plants that have got rhizomes in them. Mm. We want, we can take it up in plants that bring it through a whole filtering system in that, yeah? Mm. With a whole levitational force against gravity. Mm. Once you bring water through with a levit in, in the levitational force, all the heavy metals and shit stay down the bottom, I can tell you. They don't levitate. Mm. So things like bananas, papayas, yeah? fine. Mm. Not rhizomes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to lock that up anyway. But the gully, because it is a water source, great place to lock up all that stuff into bamboo and build out of it later. Yeah. There are any heavy metals that make the bamboo a bit strong, a bit of lead in there, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> only joking. A few minerals, extra minerals. <laughs> make it a bit more like metal. Um, but <laughs> do you know what I mean? So it's, it's, worth, it's worth checking out. What the, what the plant requires. I wouldn't be putting my food in grey water systems areas. A lot of permaculturists do. Yeah. I don't. Not on that sort of way. I'd be shifting stuff like that. We've got, we've got this earth berm here, which is directly in front, that if you sit here, you're looking straight at it. It's like I view. That's the place I was thinking of having more food. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily rhizomes, but things that you can directly look at. Yeah. Like flowers to decorate. Edible flowers to decorate the drinks. For example, you can just walk past her at eye level, you can see them and you can pick them. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So let's look at, you know, planting things in the appropriate places again. That's really important. So we can go for edible flowers on that earth burn at eye level. I mean, it just looks beautiful even if we don't eat them. We can eat them with our eyes. <laughs> um, we can go for aloe vera up there. Um, good drainage. Especially on, you know, the, sun, the sunnier side. I've, I've, I've actually planted... I planted heaps of aloe vera here last year. Yeah. Remember Spruce? Yep. Heaps. What happened to it all? I wasn't here, but they looked like they didn't make it. Weren't you here when we planted that whole yes. spark? Oh, okay. Oh, you weren't here during the year then? Yeah, who was here? <laughs> Jeremy, what happened to all that aloe vera? There was some on this, um, near the water pit over by the persimmon. Yeah. <clears throat> they like never really grew. 30 they're, or 40 they're all plants. Good there. In fact, they're, they're like buried by the, the peanut. Yeah. They're small. They say they never got big. They never Did they ever get, get fed? I suppose not. Mulched? No. Okay, well they don't normally need it, but you, you know, at the beginning it's good to feed things up. Um, anyway, we did put lots of aloe vera in. I'd